Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're going to be talking about which is better. Should you be investing into ETFs or should you be investing into individual stocks? Now, first of all, individual stocks, when you buy a share of a company, you're buying the stock of this company, you are now becoming part owner of this company. So if you buy one share of Nike, guess what, guys? You are now part owner owner you have ownership within nike now you're able to go around you're able to tell all your friends hey i'm a part owner in nike i'm a part owner in apple i'm a part owner in microsoft i'm a part owner inside of these companies now this <laughs> the percentage is very 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 small even if you buy a thousand shares of nike your percentage is still less than 0 0.111 per 0 000 percent it is very very small but you are a part owner of these companies all right so now that you're part owners of these companies now if you if you don't own any shares if you don't own any stocks right now i'm gonna leave a link in the description this video is brought to you by moomoo sign up with them with the link down in the description and deposit 100 dollars you can get up to 16 free stocks um moomoo is an investing platform that charges zero commission with a ton of free trading tools in there that you can use to help you become a, a better investor and a better trader so if you guys do want to get some free stocks if you guys do want to get started to become in part ownership of these companies make sure that you grab some free stocks um by depositing 100 dollars with the link down in the description this video is also brought to you by weeble sign up with them with the link down in the description deposit even one dollar if you want to and you can get up to 12 free stocks uh with those 12 free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could withdraw or you could sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money but <laughs> i don't recommend selling your free stocks use these platforms guys they are completely awesome investing has not been any easier than in today's time it is completely insane on how easy it is to invest inside the stock market but now that you guys know what stocks are how to become part owners let's see what the difference is by individual stocks or buying ETFs. But before we dive into the ETF side, make sure that you guys go down and hit the subscribe button. You have not because you ask not. Well, I'm asking you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it helps me out more than you can even imagine. But let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, Dreamers. Now that you know what individual stocks are, how you're becoming part owners of these companies, now let's look at ETFs. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Funds. Now, what does that mean? It's basically now you have a whole bunch of stocks all inside one basket so other than buying one individual stock you can buy this one etf to own a whole bunch of stocks with, within this company for example the easiest way that i can explain it is that when you guys go to the grocery store right and you go down the chip aisle they got a big bag of funyuns they got a big bag of doritos they got a big bag of doritos cool they got a big bag of hot chips and each individual bag is gonna cost you $5, right? So that's gonna be four bags, that's $20 if you want to buy each individual bag. Uh, but let's just say you only have $5 and now you can only buy one bag of Funyuns. You're missing out on the Doritos, you're missing out on the hot chips and, you, and you're missing out on the Doritos Cools or anything else. You're missing out on those because you're gonna buy one bag. Now ETF is the fun bag size that if you buy this one bag it comes with all these smaller bags with it within this one bag right it comes with the funyuns it comes with the hot chips it comes with the doritos it comes with all of that inside the fun size bag that is the etf right you buy one bag for five dollars it comes with everything in there other than just buying one company right so now you're not missing out on anything so that is the simplest way that i can explain it now let's look at a real example like voo there are different ETFs out there. VOO is the one that pretty much tracks uh, the S&P 500. That is America's top 500 companies, right? So now if you just buy one share of VOO, you now have part ownership in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Johnson & Johnson, 3M. All of, all of America's top 500 company, now you have part ownership just from buying this one ETF VOO. Now, it does cost a little bit. I think the expense ratio for uh, the ETF VOO is 0.003%. I mean, for every $10,000 that you invest into VOO, it's gonna cost you $3 per year. It is a very, very small price to pay to invest in such an amazing ETF. Now, this is the fun part. They do have multiple ETFs out there. They have an ETF named QQQ. It tracks technology companies, right? It, that mean they grow a little faster. Uh, they have uh, ETFs out there that tracks 
oil and gas they have etfs out there that has only airline companies in them they have etfs out there that have only clothing companies in them um guys there's a ton of etfs out there but the most popular one that i um invest into would be qqq spy boo all of those are pretty solid um that is the market when someone says i'm trying to beat the market what they're trying to beat is the s p 500 which usually goes up if you're investing inside of voo it usually goes up this is the market it tracks the market it usually goes up anywhere between seven eight maybe nine percent every single year some years ago goes down some years ago goes up more but over average it usually goes up around eight nine percent every single year and you are going to outperform any of your family members, any of your friends that's investing, any of these new investors, you're going to outperform them just by investing into the market, just by investing into these companies that are inside of the S&P 500. You're going to beat all of your friends. Now, here's the kicker. You're not going to become filthy rich. You're not, you're going to make money. You're going to make, I'm not going to say you're going to make money. The odds of you making money is higher investing into ETF, right? Just looking at past statistics, the odds of you making money are higher, but the odds of you becoming filthy rich are, is not as high as investing into individual stocks. Just because you're only making 8% every single year inside this ETF, 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%. By the time you're ready to retire, you're going to be able to retire and live a very comfortable life. You're going to be able to live the life that you wanted if you're able to invest inside the stock market every single day um or inside the stock market every single month by dollar cost averaging inside the stock market right now what i would do i would start off if you're a new investor i would start off investing into etfs for a couple of years maybe four or five six years until you really get the hang of the stock market and then you start to open up and look at individual stocks you want to know everything about these companies you want to know how to read the market. You want to know if this company is falling because of bad finances or if the company is just overvalued at the time or undervalued at the time. Because if you go in blind buying some of these stocks just because you heard about them or their penny stocks because they're on sale, because the price is low. If you just heard about these companies, so you're going to go buy a whole bunch of these shares, you're going to lose inside the stock market. I highly recommend starting off with ETFs, get your feet wet learn the stock market then start to learn these individual stocks and then you can start to branch off and buy individual stocks when you're buying these individual stocks at the right price when you buy these individual stocks at the right price and you understand everything fundamentally about these individual stocks that's when you're going to become filthy rich if you're getting them at the right price let me show you a couple of examples guys all right so here we are on ticker symbol voo remember this is the s p 500 etf over the last the price of it right now is 399 dollars and 72 cents and over the last five years it is up 61 percent over the last five years is up 61 percent you have made money you made money after a pandemic after all the crazy stuff that has gone on you have made money you are up 61 percent are you filthy rich no but you have made money up 61 percent that is the benefit of tracking these top 500 companies and when the companies is doing bad inside the etf there are going to be a couple of companies in different sectors doing good inside this etf to make you up 61 percent now if you look at another company like johnson and johnson which is another awesome company that you guys have heard about hey i'm gonna buy the individual stock johnson and johnson i heard it was a pretty good company i'm gonna go buy them right five years you're up 10 percent. inflation had beat you up 10 percent you didn't really make too much money your, your portfolio is up 10 percent it's that's not really amazing that's not amazing so would you have done better off investing into the s p 500 like voo yes did you lose money investing into johnson and johnson no you didn't lose money but you didn't make a lot of money so that's one of the benefits of investing to etf is because um if you pick these individual stocks it might not go up as much as the uh etf would have done over the last five years but let me show you one more example that's <laughs> that will make you filthy rich this is one of the benefits of investing into individual stock we're going to go to amd to symbol amd over the last five years amd is up 517 <laughs> percent amd is up 517 percent uh, five years ago, AMD was around $21.31. I know what you guys are saying. Hey, 
who's going to be able to predict AMD go up like that? Who's going to be able to predict AMD goes up 517% over the last five years? Well, like I said, if you're paying attention to these companies, if you're doing all your research on these companies and you dive in and you look at their financials and you really pick your favorite company, people like me, let scroll down, show more, people like me, one of my first purchases on AMD back in 2017, AMD, I bought eight shares at $12 and 44 cents. I didn't have a lot of money back in 2017, but I did buy eight shares at $12 and 44 cents. Let's look at some more. I bought one share, $14. So let's look at a, a, a large one. We got another one. I bought nine shares right here at the bottom, uh, January 17, 2017. I bought nine shares for $10.17. So over time, I was just stacking up AMD, 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 AMD. I really believed in this company. And as you guys can see, it's up 500% over the last five years. So that is the benefit of investing into individual stocks. As long as you know every single thing about these companies. Is AMD overpriced right now? I believe it's overpriced right now. So I'm going to take some off the top, take my profit, my initial investment, take 100% of my profits, right? Let the other 100% of my profits ride and wait for the price to pull back before I'm able to buy back in to AMD. Now that I gave you guys two examples, let me know down in the comment section, which one would you rather do or which one are you doing? Would you rather invest into ETLs or would you rather invest into uh, individual stocks? Personally, if you're just starting off, I mean, I highly recommend uh, ETLs, right? If you are an investor that just started off buying individual stocks, I'm there's a 90 percent chance that you was not successful at individual stocks until you actually start to fundamentally know the stock market in these different companies let me know which one is your favorite down in the comment section guys while you're down there don't forget to sign up with moomoo that link is going to be down in the description click that sign up deposit 100 dollars get ownership of these companies that is the best way to get your feet wet inside the stock market is by getting free stuff like free stocks just from signing up and using these platforms from using these investing apps uh, with amazing tools in there that you could use in order to help you become a better investor but if you guys do want to follow me i'm going to leave a link down in the pinned comment section that's going to be to my patreon the patreon is going to link you over to my discord inside there i post every single time i buy and sell a stock Plus my option trades in there every single week. And we also got a community professional day traders in there that post their trades every single day. So if you want to be a part of community of traders that want to be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check out that pin comment down in the pin comment section. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.